so the speed build is complete um, obviously all I did was really upgrade what I already had but um, yeah this should eat through planets a little bit faster than the uh, first prototype um, I've also chucked on a couple of other extras like a giant dock at the back so I can fly in and then use the up and down arrows once docked to switch to the uh, cockpit I've made it quite large just in case I wanted to uh, have a sort of larger ship than just my usual surfboard and then I've started making what's going to be the actual ship's rooms so uh, I'm going to put a couple of diff different rooms in here I've got an observational deck here uh, two multi-use decks which I haven't decided a storage deck and then I can't remember I think this is going to be like a sleeping area or something but anyway that is where I'm at now so I've got a kind of funky vault <laughs> I made a vault door for for the back where it docks um, a lot of this is actually quite lightweight so there are holes but I figured with it being so big you know I could save some mass also I had plans to put some guns in here at one point but I don't know if I'm going to do that until I get to the next until I've done a, a bit more on it but it's starting to take shape now so I'm not sure about these fins but um, now that's longer I might redo this bottom fin um, but yeah so I may as well show you some oh Oh, that's right, of course. I've redone the, uh, redone the bridge. It's got gravity units and an expo- and it sort of partially exposed the rear salvage array. Used a bit of green hull and mixed it in with the pink. Pink? Orange. That's what I meant, orange. <laughs> I didn't do the bottom, though, because I thought it looked a bit too symmetrical. Um, but yeah, let's show you what it can do. Okay, so this is what happens when I just click, just click. That's what I get from just a click. Yeah, so we'll move a bit to the side so that we don't mess. Okay, and uh, I figured out the best way to do this now as well is actually to rotate while you're holding the button. Do a complete spin. So. Imagine your favorite lift music while I halfway round and uh, 180 to 90 degrees to go. And obviously this will only work for as long as it has the range. Okay, so let's just have a quick look, see. So that's one pulse. Let's see, it's going six deep. Yeah. Six deep, maybe seven. And you can see where it's thicker around the corridor or around the, uh, <laughs> around this area here where I sit. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, and then this is doing a, a tunneling, you know. Oh, look at that, I've got the Hiroshima column. Somehow survived. Obviously, I didn't move anything either. But, uh, so that's a good way to just, you know, drill. You can drill just by spinning. And finally, this is my favorite way to do it. Hold shift and then right shift while in flight mode and zoom out and as you can see you're able to move around now that means if I position up this camera just like so I can hold the button and I can go to the left hopefully I haven't there we go perfect so yeah, this is the way I would use it myself. I mean, um, the whole back half of this is not being used for salvaging. Um, I'm probably going a bit too fast. I need to slow it down. 
but yeah, um, this definitely works. I'm probably, my inventory is probably full, I don't know. So, uh, I might go back and check that in a sec. But yeah, I'm going to keep going. And, um, maybe I'll find a fresh planet and time the, uh, how long it takes to eat the whole thing. There you go. The icebreaker design works. Didn't need to roll in the end, just went from side to side and s slowly made my way through. But yeah, there she is. She does have a name. But I not It's not finished yet, so this is still a prototype. But I would say this is getting close, I'd say, for the, for the, for the actual salvaging system. That is damn, just a few notes, there's a reason for the funny shape. It had to be a minimum or in height, it had to be as tall as most planets are. And some of the ice planets are actually really tall, and so that is just tall enough. Also I wanted it to be able to go underneath as it has, if it needs to. So it needed to have a completely flat um, edges, a bit like a tunneling device, like a borer. Um, so that meant that everything I was gonna, you know, this is the mining part and then this part would be the living area and docking area and so on. So that's the, uh, the, the reason for the sides being so smooth and then being no hull, because I'm showing power blocks and stuff like that. But this isn't a combat vessel, it's a clean-up um, and mining vessel. So uh, yeah, that's the reason for its funny shape because it needs to be able to fly down the hole it bores which means the front face is the you know has to be completely occupied by a cutting in this case the salvager but i'm just mumbling now so yeah so uh let's just uh quickly inspect this so yeah i just cleaned through the planet now I did speed up the footage in the interest of making it, you know, not a half hour video. I, I will tell you on the screen how much, how long it took. Um, but yeah, so yeah, straight through. <laughs> I probably um, saw, mined a lot more than I needed to at first. But um, yeah, it chomped straight through, no problem. Uh, might even be worth putting a few AMC's on it, just in case. But yeah, it's a proud little ship. I still still consider this quite small. Uh, I imagine how good it would be if it was sort of migraine trigger size. But yeah, that was fun, and uh, I will continue developing this idea, and I will bring you more as soon as I have it.
so thanks for watching and next up i've got to uh, go and test this sort of real world i guess against a few stations and things so make sure to check out the next episode if you want to see where this is going because i'm going to show it a little bit more in action um, and thanks for watching and uh, see you next time